Online I found this circuit diagram, very simple circuit diagram for making a powerful siren for alarm and the schematic is using just uh, transistors, resistors, capacitors and one push switch. That's it. Here it is the circuit diagram. You can take a screenshot from, the, from this video and use it for your project. And here are the electronic components. We use a 1 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohm, 220 ohms resistor, 220 kilo ohm resistors. We have a capacitors, two capacitor of 22 microfarads, 10 nanofarads, 47 microfarads. And we have two same PNP transistor BC557 and one NPN transistor that is more powerful is a BC337. The whole circuit is working on 12 volts and also you will need a, a, a bigger speaker. Here it is a close-up, you can take a screenshot so you can collect your electronic components and making your own very powerful and crazy siren. So here I have uh, all the components that I need to build my skeleton powerful alarm siren and I'm gonna make on this two copper wires, solid copper wires and let's start soldering first I'm gonna solder the two PNP transistors this resistor, capacitor and these two resistors I am almost finished just to solder this last capacitor. Uh, you have wondered why I'm using this one because I love old electronic components and this one will bring more stability to the circuit. Okay. I'm finished with soldering all the components and making of skeleton circuit of siren alarm using only transistors, resistors and capacitors and only thing is to solder the speaker and try it just to mention this rail is positive, this rail is negative I have also put a isolation, red isolation to indicate that this is positive rail and blue isolation to indicate that this is negative or ground. I have a switch and let's try it. The speaker is connected to the circuit. I'm gonna connect it positive to positive and negative to negative. explain 
when you hold the, the push button the siren goes up with the tone and when you release the tone goes down testing the circuit on 7 volts and I can see that it's pulling around 150 milliampers and uh, N-pen transistor BC337 can handle with that, don't worry. Great. The circuit is working great and I love it. It turned out pretty cool and amazing and it sounds amazing. Okay. Skeleton version for police siren. I like it. Today project will be using my LED Matrix 5x5 LEDs, totally 25 LEDs that I made a couple of weeks ago and in today's project I'm gonna use this gadget to make something new. Do you remember this LED gadget? It's a LED Matrix 5x5, totally 25 LEDs but each LED is self-blinking LED and you got a pattern like this. In today's video I'm gonna try something new using two mirrors and to make something new LED effect. Let's start. So far I fixed two mirrors and on bottom they are the LEDs and you can see the effect. Also I'm gonna place a transparent plastic from this side, this side and top. And later we're gonna see what kind of LED effect we're gonna get from this infinite re cube. Out of transparent plastic pieces I made the second part and will go like this. I'm gonna fix it with glue and will be finish it and test it. Okay. Maybe it's ugly. It 
that glue on the corners but that this one is pretty cool gadget now I'm gonna turn it on three two one what it's nothing from behind just to kill the lights even more awesome I didn't expect to be like this okay I hope you like today project which was weird and in same time awesome project LED cube okay I will use three pieces of clear or transparent plexiglass pieces for making today gadget which is a very simple and rechargeable LED light as you can see I will use uh, LEDs white LEDs seven of them and on each of the LED I solder it a resistor next I'm using a rechargeable PCB board this is the one a small switch and I will use also a lithium rechargeable battery from old phone all these components like the battery the PCB charging board the switch the LEDs will be placed between plexiglass or the pieces and like a sandwich and to mention that I'm not gonna use any glue everything will be tied up with screws in next seconds you're gonna watch how I assemble this amazing look LED gadget starting with fixing the, the charging PCB board soldering the wires between the board and the battery and the LEDs and adding the, the mini switch everything is placed on the plexiglass or on the frame here it is the charging board the switch the battery and the LEDs and those are placed between 
two plexiglass pieces and for the end the top piece goes like like this and I'm gonna use five screws and metal screws and nuts to tighten the gadget okay Okay, here it is, finished gadget, LED gadget. It's a simple LED light, rechargeable, using a smartphone battery, PCB charging board, small switch for turning on the LEDs, a handmade rail out of seven white diffused LEDs, and it's transparent, clear case, tied up with five metal screws and looking amazing now I'm gonna test the the charger we have a red light meaning that it's charging and on the USB doctor you can see that it's pulling 144 milliampers and that is programmed with the resistor that is soldered on the PCB charging board so you can choose what milliampers you want to charge the battery okay now it's time to test it turning on all right let's kill the light giving a very nice light and looking good that is transparent in skeleton version there is small switch right there here it is the switch that is tied with two metal screws and as I said I, I never use a glue everything is tied with screws even the charging board and the LEDs looking very futuristic and this is one of my favorites I hope you like today very simple DIY project using our LEDs please give a like share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching see ya